What's up guys, I'm Landon from Shoe Wear, and today we're checking out part of LeBron's sub shoe line with Nike, the LeBron Witness 6 in this Crimson Pulse colorway. So if this is your first time checking us out, feel free to drop a follow or subscribe wherever you're watching and give this video a like. We would greatly appreciate that. Now checking out the box and the price really quick. They did spice up the box a little bit this year. Not really, they just made it orange instead of having a black box. But I guess you are gonna have like a lion design on the box too, so it is slightly more interesting than the Witness 5. But looking at the price, these are gonna follow suit with the previous models and retail for $100 even, which is actually half the price of the LeBron 19 for Nike. So, I mean, definitely not a bad price point and it is nice to see that they've been sticking with it. We haven't seen any price jumps yet, yet. So checking out the appearance for these, this is the Crimson Pulse colorway for the LeBron Witness 6 model, the newest addition to that part of his shoe line. And Nike definitely did spice these up a little bit more than some of the previous models. So the midsole kind of turns into a wing that has the LJ logo, crown logo kind of built in there. And that crown is actually cut out, which makes it a little bit more noticeable. And you know, I don't know, I thought it was a pretty clean look. And that wing is also gonna run up the inside part of the midsole. And it's gonna have a Nike swoosh along with some witness, witness text kind of built in there. And this tongue gets a lion face kind of embossed into it. The Witness 5 had that same face, but it was like on the back, like inside part of the shoe. It just really wasn't that visible. And I think it just looks, you know, it's in a lot better spot on these. And it's way more noticeable on some other colorways. I mean, I get that it's kind of tough to see it with that all black tongue, but you know, it is in there. So honestly, I do think the LeBron Witness 6 is a pretty cool design. Like they definitely added some nice aspects that I am a fan of. So I think the changes on the shoe do look nice overall. So now looking at the materials, just like last year's model, these are going to have those materials broken up into two different feels, just between the front and the back of the shoe. So in the front, you're gonna get that same mesh design idea. It's gonna have some reinforced stitching along the sides, just to help the shoe fit a little bit more snug. And the ventilation is definitely nice. It's easy for your foot to breathe within this model. And then on the back of the shoe, you're gonna have some external molded pieces that are there to just kind of lock your heel in, which does lead me into the support, which is a pretty good spot. And you could say maybe even got a little bit better on this model. So with that red wing running up the midsole, that's going to help with some of your lateral containment so your foot doesn't like slide out of the shoe. And the same kind of black wing can actually be found up near the toe box, which is also going to help. And these are going to have a padded collar that I do think does add a little bit to the shoe just to make them more comfortable, just to kind of dip back into the cushioning section for a second. But the LeBron 18, it had been pretty rough just like as far as the support. And it was definitely fixed on the LeBron 19 model. And I am glad to see that, you know, this shoe doesn't have an issue with the support either. And then the materials you that make up this shoe, it's gonna be pretty light. I mean, the LeBron Witness 6 is only gonna weigh 434 grams for a size 10 and a half. And I mean, that's almost 200 grams lighter than his original line. I think that might be the heaviest shoe that I've actually played in, at least, you know, that I can think of. So I am glad because that does make your on-court movements just feel a little bit easier without sacrificing any of that supportive feel. So now getting into more of the materials and the performance side for this shoe and starting off with the cushioning. They did switch up the cushioning setup from last year and this year they went with like a max air cushioning that's going to run the entire length of the shoe and that's meant to like help dissipate the hard forces and the impact and just give you a bouncy yet responsive sensation. And personally I do think these play a little bit softer than last year's model. Something that I do like about LeBron's original line is something that they also do in this witness line is going to be making the cushioning units just kind of visible through the side of that pit sole. You can just see exactly what's protecting your foot and I mean landing from jumps I do think these feel you know have you a little bit more protected on this six model compared to the witness five and cushioning is one of the highlights of LeBron's original shoe line which is now on number 19 and you are going to see that translate more so with this subline then you'll see with some other sublines for players like you know the Giannis Immortality the Kyrie Flytrap and some others out there I mean that is a nice aspect for this shoe definitely nicer than expected. So to finish off with traction, kind of relating it to LeBron's main shoe line, that isn't an area where it thrives at all. I'll just kind of say that. So I wasn't really expecting much out of these, but I definitely was pleasantly surprised. I mean, the first good sign was seeing a traditional herringbone setup as the pattern. That is pretty common traction pattern for a reason. I mean, shoes like the Air Jordan 36 and some other well-performing basketball shoes are going to use that. And it does play really well on this model. And on this Witness 6 design, I mean, they even are a little bit sticky. Like the grip has been above average just from what I felt so far, but there is still some inconsistencies just like from my first two few times playing in these. Right now I'm kind of chalking it up to the court because other than like slipping a time or two, honestly, these did a really solid job, even better than the LeBron 19 and definitely better than the LeBron 18 in my opinion. And the outsole does have some, does have some durable rubber that will 
will allow these to play really well outdoors. So especially with some thicker grooves, I mean, I don't think the traction pattern will wear away that easily. But you know, to finish off with sizing, these are going to be regular for the width and about perfect for the length. I mean, there really, it really isn't much leftover space, just like compared to the Witness 5, especially. So if you do prefer a little extra room, you may want to consider trying to go a half size up. But overall, from what I've felt so far, this is an upgrade from the previous model. And it is going to be a little bit more on the expensive side for a subline, but not even in the ballpark of his original line up at $200. And they haven't been making price jumps either. So I would say the LeBron Witness 6 is a solid budget friendly option to play in. So if you're interested in buying these shoes and you want to support our channel, just click the link on screen or check out the link below or in our bio. But that wraps up this review. Until next time, I'm Landon from Shoewear. Peace.